Hey everyone, today's it is about when Kiri Baku comforts you after you get essayed. Um, I'm probably not very good at this, but I'm always here if you guys want to talk to me. I also just created a new group on Discord, so we could all talk there. And if you don't want to talk in a group, you can just text me straight away. I'm so sorry if this has happened to you. I'm truly sorry. And I'm always here with open arms, okay? Just be careful out there, please. Thank you guys for listening, and let's get going. You felt disgusting. You were crying and crying, sobbing. As you were showering, trying to get his smell out of you. You felt it all again. His touches, his words, the way he forced you. The way he touched you was disgusting, too. You felt disgusting. You were disgusting. Why did this have to happen to me? What did I do? Please, please just, just make it all go away. I, I don't want it to happen again. You rubbed at your skin, trying to clean yourself, yet you still felt so dirty. And then, you heard the knock on the bathroom door. Wyon, are you good? You don't sound too good there. Kirishima. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, Gary. You didn't tell him anything yet. Neither did you tell Bakugo. After all, will they be disgusted with you after this? Wyan, I know you're not okay. Just finish showering and... I'll... I'll be out here, okay? You hum loudly, trying to sound as less shaky as you could. Then you started to rub at your skin again. And then remembered what exactly happened. Which made you sob loudly. You're clearly not okay, Wyan. You know what? Can I come in? No, don't come in. You can't see me like this. No. Can I get Bakugo then? You knew Bakugo could comfort you with this. Kirishima would too, and could. But he didn't want him to see you in this state. He was your baby. Uh, maybe... Get him, please. All right, I'll be here quickly. A few minutes later, and Bakugo was knocking at the door. Wyon, can I come in, honey? He hummed loudly again. Then, he came in and locked the door afterwards, going to you. What is it, honey? What's making you like this? <sighs> he touched me, Katsuki. He touched me. His dirty hands touched me. I can't get his smell out of my hands. I can't get him out of my hands. I feel like I'm being touched all over again. I don't want this to happen to me. Why did it happen to me? Did I do something wrong? Who touched you? Who would even dare to do that? Baby, look. You're not disgusting, okay? And... Can I get Kirishima? I think he'll comfort you better. No, I don't want him to see me in this state. <sighs> Fine. Look, honey. I just... I don't want you to think about yourself like that. He's an asshole. And you probably should tell me who he is. Because... We don't want him to do that to more people, do we? Yeah, you're right. Don't kill him, though. Just get him to the police. Okay? Fine. Maybe smelling Bakugo's scent made you relax. Slightly. Wyan, don't feel like that again, okay? I'm so sorry I wasn't there with you. Really. It's okay. Let's clean you up. Can I do that? Yeah. Go on. He then began cleaning you up, running over you with a sponge, and... Loving up your hair. Massaging your scalp. Does this feel good, hon? Yeah. Thank you. You were slowly calming down. After all that crying, you felt like you really wanted to sleep. And you were about to, before Bakugo woke you up again. Hey, you can't sleep here. Come on, let's get into some clothes. Yeah? But first, let's dry you off. 
You dried yourself off, then got into some clothes, then got her out of the bathroom, immediately seeing Kirishima there, with worried eyes. He looked like he was going to cry. Kiri, I'm okay. I heard all of that. Why didn't you tell me? Do you not trust me with this? No, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I just didn't want you to see me in that state. Yeah. Who is that guy? I want to kill him. With my own hands. You can do that. You're a hero. Exactly, Wan. I have to protect you most. You're my partner. If I can't protect my partner, then can I really protect the other people out there? He... He harassed you. If he harassed you like that, then he probably harasses other people too. We should kill him. No, we shouldn't. We should just get him to the police. And then, if he tries something again, after he gets out, then we can kill him afterwards. <sighs> Sadly, I really want him to die. Can we just sleep, please? Yeah, let's sleep. I'll cuddle with you. And maybe tomorrow, we can even go on a date together. I'm taking a break. What about you, Katsuki? I'm probably going to take a break, too. Anything for you, Maya. A week, a month, a year. I will do anything. Until you feel better. Yeah. Come on, I'll carry them. Kirishima carries you to the bedroom. And then puts you down gently on the bed. Getting on your right side and hugging you. I love you. He said softly. Before kissing your forehead. And nuzzling his head into your neck. And then you felt the bed dip down as Bakugo sat by. Hey, you all beginning without me, you know. This is not a beginning. We're just sleeping. Yeah, right. He then spread a blanket around you and covered you both before covering himself too and hugging you tightly from your waist. I love you, Lion. Don't think about yourself like that ever. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Both. I love you so much. You probably didn't feel the best after what happened, but you were feeling better than what you should have been. After all, you just got harassed. But you had the best two boyfriends in the world, and they were going to make you feel as comfortable as ever. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!